Welcome back to Paws and Paper. Today I have me, Gideon, Gideon. here. Um, we are going to go ahead and we're going to make a signature for our little fabric colored journal that we made the other day. So Gideon has so graciously volunteered to be my helper today. So what are we doing today? We're going to be meat, turning meat, uh, putting these pages in here. And uh, so we don't have the uh, stitching coming out through the back. Yep. Uh, we're gonna. We're going cut, to. We're gonna cut cardstock in gonna... this little section. Yep. And then we're gonna glue this on top of the cardstock, and then put our pages. We'll sew through this. And then we're gonna put our pages. In. In. Perfect. Like that. Okay. So step number one, let's get this cut. So you want to use the ruler or the mat. You want to measure from here to here because this is what will fold. So you want to measure in between those two folds. So how much do we got? So we have exactly one inch. Okay. And how tall, top to bottom? We have eight inches. Okay. So roughly eight Roughly eight and a quarter. Eight okay. And a quarter or something. So you want to. You could either use scissors or you could use a box cutter. Okay. But if you are using a box cutter, be careful. All right. So we have this is one inch, just one square is one inch. You don't need your ruler. Just one, this two, one square. Three, that. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So you'll want to just slice this all the way down first. You got to use your ruler as your guide. There you go. And you got to put the cork side down. It doesn't slip as bad. Line it up. Hold on. You got to be exactly in line. Hold real tight. You got to be on the line. Hang on. Slow down. Okay. All the way down. Push hard. You got to get through. And sometimes if nope, you don't... You got to do it again. And sometimes if you don't uh, get through the first time, you could uh, go back through the second time like I have to. And you want to make sure you're on the same line and get it all lined up. There you go. Because we don't want it to be crooked. Ah, oh, see, we're almost all the way through. Perfect. Okay. Now, how tall did you want it? You said like about eight and a half? Yeah. So now you're yeah, gonna want to do, well, you can just turn it this way. And you can count eight squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So go a little bit over that because we had just a little bit more than, no, your, your squares are your inches, you're fine. So like go to that, see that dot, those dots? Yeah, just line it up there and give yourself a little bit more. Perfect. Okay. Now, we're all done with that. You set your ruler and your thing aside. Craft side. knife. Retracted. Retracted. Away. Okay. What we want to do is look at our thing here of how you want to lay your fabric. So see, we want everything kind of going in the same direction. So, does anything... Flip it up. Because the glass is... Is that the right way? I don't know. It's hard to yeah, tell because like some of the glasses are upside down. I don't think it matters too much. We're going to hide most of it anyway. So get out your Fabrifix glue and we're going to glue this down. There you go. So. Make sure not to use too much because this will go through. Yep, glue on the cardboard, cardstock. Cardboard, cardstock, it could be your choice. We use cardstock because we have a bunch of that just lying around. Yep, this was just what? The back of a, this was just the back of a notepad. Those legal notepads. Okay, stick your fabric on there. Smush it down. Make sure it's all covered. You're getting a little off there, mister. There you go. All covered. And like and subscribe 
And share this with your friends if you want to see more of me on the show. Oh, you're the star now? Huh? I thought Leo was the star. We haven't seen Leo in a while, have we? Oh. oh, that's right. Leo's not here right now. Leo went with Papa to go get dinner. Okay. So, you don't have to trim those. Don't trim those sides because okay. we want a little bit on the edge. We'll let it fray out. That's kind of cool. Okay. So, now this is going to get glued down into there. So, the next thing you need to do is get your papers ready. And what we're going to use is... Let's use... Because these were kind of cool. I did the... The lace. This was a lace design. Don't know if coffee you guys paper. Can it's see hard that. to see on camera, isn't it? But it's really cool. It got a neat design on the front. So choose two of those, and we're going to use those on the outside. Just two. I'm going to use two good ones. You got those two you like? Okay. So then I think we're going to do we're going to do two. Should we do? Is this big enough for two signatures? You think or one? Yeah, I think it's two. You think so? Okay. So each one of these is going to be the cover then, or the outside of our signature. And you're going to put in, let's put in... Six pages. So seven in total? Yeah. Okay. Four. You got them all counted? Do I need to count? Six. Two, four, six. Okay. So you fold yours and I'll fold mine. Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to take this sheet and we're going to fold it in half. I fold mine one at a time. You can fold yours however you want. I'm going to go. You're going to fold them all at once? I'm going to go twice. Two at a time. Okay. You're going to do two at a time. You can do it however you want. And you could, oh, you're gonna you, use the... and you could use this to... Uh, flatten out your pages. You know what that's called? Uh, that is called bone, needle, right? bone folder. Very bone close. Folder. Yes. Make sure you're on the, uh, don't get on the curved edge. Makes it a little bit easier to fold. How many pages did you say we got here? Seven. Okay. Should be six copy dye and one lace. And you guys could use just regular pages, but we like this. We like going for this old design. Yes. So. The look of the old. Which is kind of cool. Okay, did you see what I'm going to do now? I'm going to start just stacking them all inside of the. And if you find any papers you really like that you want to be one way or the other, you can flip them around, move them. Or you could use colored pages. Any paper, right? Hint on our uh, shop that we opened up not too long ago. We're going to be selling uh, packs that you can uh, make these yourself with colored paper. Okay. We have flowers, bugs, like all about the earth stuff all kinds of ones water animals land animals and more to come okay you want to here flip your page you want this side on the outside yeah there you go okay yeah make your pretty one okay so now we have what we call two signatures right okay so we're going to then use this and be careful because this is really sharp. Here, let's, um, I like to do it on the, the spine first. I think it's easier. So here's what I'm going to tell you to do. We're going to flip it over. And we know this is the top. And we're going to roughly, and I don't measure. I'm not very good at measuring. We're going to eyeball. Let's do one two and you guys could this could have this more spread out or you could have it more close together just with less pages because you don't want your book to be out like this you want it to be nice or you could actually use a rule and measure because i'm not very let's nah who needs a ruler okay can you have sight there you go sure. take your pokey tool poke each of those holes make sure you go through the fab fabric Oh, this? Yeah, here. 
this is what I normally do. And you can poke into a book or whatever, but I just hold it. Make sure your fingers aren't on the back. Just hold it and then just kind of twist it through. And that's all you need to do. And this is... You don't have to go through any further than that. And if you guys are learning this uh, for your first time, this is my also first time. You need to be in frame there so they can see what you're doing. Make, yeah, make sure your finger's not on the back there. There you go. Or you can just, yeah, do it on the mat. I've seen a lot of people, they use a book. They go through a book. Uh, like the Pam at the Paper Outpost. Uh, I just recently watched one of these because I've been wanting to uh, do one of these videos like yeah. this as a tutorial for this. For binding. For binding a book. So I recently watched one of Pam's videos at the Paper Outpost. And she did a really good demonstration with her like pin needle thing. But, yeah, I I just got into this. My mom over here showed me this, and I was like, oh. At first, I wasn't set, but as you guys get on, it gets easier, and you like it more. Something to learn, isn't it? Something new to try. Okay, and as you can see, I am just kind of lining it up and guessing where my holes are going. So there's one. Oh, and this is the binding string we're going to use? You know what that's have... called? What uh, that thread is called? What kind of thread I'm using? No. That is embroidery thread. But uh, we have a light blue and a darker red. Burgundy. Burgundy red. And they kind of match the colors on the cover, don't they? Yeah. Yes. Oop, too far down. Okay. We're guesstimated. Okay, so now that you have your holes done, have you ever sewn this before? No, I have not okay. sewn this, but I have seen Pam's video, and you start. So you're an expert. So you start in the center. Here, and go I'll help to you. Your top, we'll put some paper clips bottom. on them. Here, I'm pretty sure you okay. go through here. I know. Hang there, on, hang on. There and through the center again. So I think I got it. So okay, you so you want to. You want to sew it onto here first, so you show me how you're going to do it. So I'm going to start in the center. You want to start from the outside first. This is not. Because it's going to tie. No, because there, through here. Okay, you go, here. I'll let you experiment. You go ahead. Show me what you, So I'm gonna, you want me to hold it? Would yes. that help you? Yes. So I'm going to sew it through here, and uh, you want to have your... Uh, string out, but you will want to have some uh, still in there left to slack. Um, and you might have to pierce this. Now I look at you're going through two different holes. Uh -oh. oh no, you're not. I'm sorry. I'll just stand by. Okay, now what? So, and then I'm going to go through this hole. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to end off through the center again. And I learned all this stuff from Pam at the Paper Outpost. That is a main channel that we watch. Yep, Pam was my inspiration for starting junk journaling, right? Yep. Okay, now here's here's my uh, time out. Here's my thought, and I'm just going to leave this as a suggestion. That's you can have the strings on the outside, and they'll get glued down, you won't see them. And then your inside will look like this, with no strings. Or you can leave the strings here, and then you got to leave them dangle, and then your strings are in the inside. How do you want it to look? You want it to look like that? You fine with that? Yes, because I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a, a, a like clipping like a charm or something on them. Yeah, you can put like a button or a charm or just a simple piece of paper cut out. Okay, so we want to untangle. I, yeah, I kind of. 
I kind of went through it, but... That's okay. Let's uh, untangle here a second. And just put one thread on one side, one thread on the other, and let's kind of get rid of some of this extra here. You need to... Okay, time out. Okay, so we are at this point. We had a technical difficulty. We yeah, got our thread sorry, guys. all tangled. <laughs> so once you have it in here, what do you have to do? Down the center, one tail on one side, one tail on the other, and then you got to tie it in so, a yeah. very tight knot. And, uh... and these need to make sure they're tight because you don't want loot. Stop, stop, stop. You're... You gotta go on too fast. You gotta make sure these are tight. I'm gonna let you do that. Okay. You gotta pull them tight. And Alrighty. Wait. So in the last hole. And... Pull it all the way through. Just do this. Grab your end. And pull on your needle and it'll come through. Loosen it up a little bit. There you go. Alrighty. And as I was saying, um, we did shoot another video that originally came before this one. But uh, we don't have the proper editing stuff yet. You we are pull it tight otherwise you're going to get your thread stuck here. There you go. We are working on getting the proper tool to edit the video. Yes, say we're not. Technology has advanced us. Okay, are we good on the back? Yes. Good. Okay. So, pull it tight. Yep. And I'm going to take the needle off. Tie it off. Several knots to make sure we don't go anywhere. Okay, cut your threads. Mm -hmm. And we're almost done. So I'm going to put them along with... Okay. And now that we have both signatures... Now that you have this, you take your Fabrifex, or whatever glue you have, and you uh, glue on the back of this. You glue the heck out of it. Make sure to get the strings real good, because okay. you don't want them going anywhere. Yep. Okay. Good. Yep. Okay. And then uh, what you do is you place it down. You want to make sure you're in the right spot here. You place it down. Let Still fold our book. Let it dry for a little bit. Like... Mm, Two to three hours, and it'll be good. And you're all set, right? Yes. And this is our first soft back book that we have. Yep. So we smush this in here. And. And. Get that all in there. And there we go. So now we have our hidden. And we might decorate this up a little bit more. I might put some more lace down or something to hide that a little bit better. But there you go. Our two signatures sewn in to our cute little journal. And as you can see, it fits perfect so that it just stays right there. There you go. Because if we did three, it'd probably be sticking out like this, and you don't want that. Yeah. Well, plus you can decorate it then. All right. I hope you folks had a good time. Yeah. Thank you, Gideon. And we'll be see. sure to like and subscribe for the support. Yep. And, and we'll see you next time. We'll see you all next time. See Bye. ya. Bye.